Praise be Jesus Christ, and welcome to Lexio on the Go. Our readings are from Acts 3, 1 through 10, and John 21, 15 through 19. Uh, we're going to learn about the story of the lame beggar. There was a lame beggar that would wait outside of the temple area, and this story takes place um, after Jesus' uh, ascension, actually, into heaven. And it's when uh, the saints Peter and John encounter this beggar. But before we go to that story, which is after the ascension, we're going to go to a story before the ascension, and that is John 21, where Jesus and Peter have this beautiful dialogue back and forth. And of course, remember before the crucifixion, uh, Peter had denied Jesus three times. And now what Jesus is doing after he rises from the dead is he's allowing uh, Peter to make up for that denial. And three times he will ask, do you love me? And of course, Peter will respond in the affirmative, yes, I do love you. And then Jesus will give the command to feed his lambs, to feed his sheep. So we see in this a direct uh, command of our Lord to Peter himself individually to take care of the lambs, take care of the sheep. And this will definitely be a part of that, uh, the primacy of Peter, the role of the Pope, um, the Bishop of Rome, to take care of the sheep, um, the whole fold. And so we see just before that in John 20, that our Lord also gives um, commands, John 20, 19 or so, John, uh, Peter, get, sorry, Jesus gives to all of the apostles. He says, as the Father has sent me, I send you. So again, giving that authority to do what Jesus did, to heal, to preach. And then specifically, he breathes the Holy Spirit upon them and he says, the sins you forgive are forgiven. So John 20, we see that Jesus is passing authority to the whole college of apostles. And then in John 21, he, he takes Peter aside uh, individually and gives Peter a direct command. And this is where we see that, of course, all the apostles that were in that upper room are the first bishops, but there's a uniqueness, a primacy to Peter, who will be the Bishop of Rome and who will pass that office on to his successors um, throughout history. And their job is to not only strengthen the brother um, bishops, the, the fellow apostles, but also to feed the sheep and feed the lambs. Um, so with that um, authority given, now we can move into the story of uh, Peter and John, because this takes place, of course, after that dialogue between Jesus and Peter. So John and Peter are being obedient uh, to their Christian life, and they are following their daily duties of prayer specifically, and they are on their way to the temple, it says in the ninth hour, to say the prayers. And this is beautiful because sometimes we don't feel like praying. Uh, we don't feel like getting up and praying, or we may not feel like going to daily mass. We may not feel like doing liturgy of the hours or a divine mercy chaplet or a rosary. But when we are obedient to prayer, as we see the apostles Peter and John, we see that great things happen. So in their obedience, they go to the temple and they encounter this lame beggar. And uh, the dialogue is great because the beggar said, you know, the beggar looks at them and wants something. He wants alms. He wants uh, some money or food or whatever. And Peter just replies, look at us. You know, like uh, we're not very impressive. You know, look at us. What do, what do we have? In fact, at this point, they have given up everything uh, just to be obedient to our Lord and to do uh, what our Lord would ask. And so the beggar does look at them. And, um, and then Peter responds, silver and gold, I have none. But what I have, I give you. And this is so important to everyone that follows Christ. What is it that we have? We have the divine life. We partake in the divine life um, given at baptism and strengthened by confirmation and nourished by the Eucharist. We can give that beauty, that grace to others. And that's exactly what Peter does. Peter really takes a hold of the authority that has been given to the apostles, but also particularly to be given to him. And he takes the opportunity here to do what? To feed this beggar. To feed this beggar not food, to feed this beggar not money, but actually to feed this beggar grace, the divine life, and to communicate that and to share that um, with this beggar. And so again, you know, silver and gold, I have none, but what I do have, I will give to you. And that's, um, you know, we don't have a lot of things necessarily. We may be rich, we may be poor, but the, the one thing necessary, that's what we should give to others. And that's that divine life, that grace that we have, that we have been given and, and been blessed to have. Um, so 
going back to the dialogue between uh, Peter and Jesus, we see again this strength. Where does Peter get this strength, this confidence to, uh, to share uh, with the, the beggar? Well, Jesus says, when you were young, you girded yourself and you walked where you would. Um, when you are old, you will stretch forth your hands and another will gird you, lead you where you would not. I think this is important because it kind of shows two things here. When you were young, you girded yourself. So there's a period in our life, um, perhaps before we were baptized, perhaps before we took Christ seriously in our life, that um, we girded ourselves. We did what we wanted. We went where we wanted. And maybe we weren't really listening to um, the call of God. And, but, but when we start to take that divine life seriously, um, then what, what happens is when you are older, more mature in that Christian faith, you will stretch forth your hands, right? And another will gird you. And who is that other? And where does that other lead us? Well, the other is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not a force. The Holy Spirit is not a power. The Holy Spirit is a person. As Jesus says here, another, another will lead you. Well, that another is the Holy Spirit. And that another will lead us to truth. That another will lead us to what God is calling us to do. And it is that person, the Holy Spirit, that was leading Peter that day, leading Peter to reach out his hands to that beggar and say, look, I don't have anything. In and of myself, I don't have anything. But with that another, with the Holy Spirit, I have everything. And that everything I will give to you. Thank you so much for joining me on uh, Lexio On The Go. Uh, please do take the time to check out linktoliturgy.com where we have a free uh, fast and faithful um, gospel resources. Also, please check out Beanwell Coffee. Um, if you uh, are interested in coffee, we roast our coffee. We can uh, be happy to provide that for you. And, um, and also uh, just uh, check out our Divine Mercy Chaplet and our Oratory Prayer Book. Have a great day. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.